You might have heard about game theory, which unfortunately is not about video games, but is way more about math and economics. Except that maybe, yes, maybe it is about video games. And I'm saying this because today we are going to play a video game from Nikki Case, which is all about game theory and agent-based modeling and even evolutionary approach. So let's just jump into it. So here we are, this is the page of the game. I'm going to skip part of what is written, mostly because just to keep it short. So here we are. And this is one of the very basic game of game theory. This is also known as the prisoner dilemma. So we have two people and they should play some way against each other, but maybe they can also cooperate. So both of us have to put a coin in this machine and this is some kind of magical machine which rewards not us but the other so depending on how many coin we put in the other person is rewarded if we put one coin the person is rewarded with three coins if we put nothing the other person is rewarded with nothing let's say the other player cheats so he doesn't put any coin what should we do we cheat so, and he's agreeing, he's saying like, if we cooperate and they cheat, we lose a coin while they gain three. And this is represented here. We get minus one and he got plus three. Well, if we both cheat, we are a zero versus zero. So yes, in this case, I should cheat. Let's say the other player cooperates and you put a coin. What should we do now? So I'm going to go for cheat, but then I'm going to explain a little more here. He's saying like, this is mean, but it's also correct. So here you have to look at the table. If I cooperate and they cooperate, we'll end up with plus two and plus two. If I cheat and he cooperates, then I will get plus three because he's getting one and I'm getting the three coins, but he's losing one. So here I want to spend just a quick words because uh, many people here get confused because yes, Nikki Case did a great job using coins, but actually, Game theory is not just about money, but is more about reward, what is called utility. And utility is not just money, it's everything that gives you some kind of pleasure or happiness. So let's say if I get 100 euros, I will get 100 utility points. If just a friend come to my place and uh, I don't know, we have a nice evening together, maybe I will get 20 utility points. So this plus three and minus one really represent everything that I get, I can get out of this relationship. So if I'm getting three points, maybe I'm really happy that the other person did something. Maybe they gave me a present, they gave me money, I don't know, whatever. And so utility is a little more complex because, for example, if you feel bad because you're cheating on the other person, then you're losing utility points. So I'm not gonna get into details here because it's going to make it super complex. So here I think it's best just to focus about the fact that for whatever reason, we don't want to know, but some way we don't care about this person. If this person lives, good for them. If this person dies, we don't care. And this is key because if you don't understand this point, then you will get confused for whatever happens next. So now the game says like, what happens if we play this game more than once? So now let's play for real. And you will be playing against five different opponents. Probably I will cut some of them. Can you trust them or rather, can they trust you? So we don't know what the other guy is doing, but we start by cooperating. Okay, we both cooperate and so I get Two and he got two. So let's say I cooperate again. We also get two again. But let's say now I cheat. So you see in this round I get more. But let's see what happens then. We still cheat and also he cheats. So now the situation is somewhere locked. Like none of us can get more. Let's try also here. I start by cooperate. So this guy is cheating, but then I start cheating too. And so we stuck with this chord then. Let's see with this other character. I start cooperating. We keep cooperating. 
And we see we're making so many more points by keeping cooperating together. Okay, so this is our total score and here is introducing the different characters. I'm not going too much into details, but we have always cooperate. This uh, character is always cooperate. This one always cheat. And then we have the copycat, which is always scoping what you did in the next, in the previous round. So now what if these characters were to play against each other? So which one do you think that will win? Let's say I bet on the all cheat. And the winner is, actually is not the all cheat, but is the copycat. So the winner is the copycat, but this one is not telling us much right now. So probably it's better to see it in a slightly different scenario. So what if we play multiple tournaments? And what we're looking at right now is what is also called evolutionary framework and is a scenario in which we have a lot of different players and each one has his own strategy. So we have, for example, here lots of always cheat and a group of always cooperate. Then we see how many points they make and then we have that the people that made less points die, and so they are removed from the game, while the ones that scored the most are replicated. This is really similar to what happens with evolution, where if you don't fit really well, like you cannot get food, you cannot reproduce, then you die, while all the other species that actually are good at getting food, then they can reproduce themselves, and of course, like, they can populate Earth. This is not exactly what happens with social scenario, but it's quite similar because if you see that some people are using some strategy and this strategy works while other people are using some strategy, let's say being always nice, and you see that being always nice doesn't work, then probably you will modify your behavior. Let's see this in action. So we start with this population where we have always cooperate always cheat and the copycat. And so what is going to happen here? Which one is going to win? We saw before the copycat was winning, so it makes sense to bet on the copycat. And let's see. So we play one tournament and each one is playing against each other. So this player is playing against this one, then he's playing against this one, then this player against this one, etc., etc. And this is their final score. So we see that the always cheat are making really a ton of score. So we remove the bottom five and we reproduce the top five. So the always cooperate are dying and the always cheat are reproducing. This really would be like, you see a lot of people are being nice and there are these guys who are acting like really bad, but also like they're making money, they're making friends, they're making everything that is valuable to you. And so it makes sense for you to copy their behavior. So now we lost totally the always cooperate. So what will happen now? We see that the always cheat are not making much while the copycat are doing pretty well. So we're removing the always cheat. And we go on, and on, and as a result, ta -da, we have the copycats. So what happened in the previous situation? It happens that the always cheat can actually really exploit all the pink ones, so the always cooperate, because they're getting a lot of happiness. So let's say they go to a party organized by these people, they don't pay anything, they don't bring alcohol, they don't bring really anything, but they have a lot of fun at the expenses of these guys. And so then a lot of people start saying like, hey, probably I should do the same thing as this guy. And so they start reproducing and reproducing and more and more people then start going to the party without bringing anything. And this is the way we lose all the nice people because like at the end, nobody wants to be nice. But then we are in this situation where we have all this bunch of people that actually are not acting nice and they always take everything they can. And then we have these other people. They start being nice, but then if you're not nice to them, they're not nice to you. 
And so we can see that these guys are not having fun because if this guy goes to the party of all these guys, actually nobody is giving away anything. But these other guys actually can have fun. They can be nice to each other. And this is how we can change things. So right now it looks like the copycat is the best strategy. And actually we can see that if we repeat the situation with a different number of rounds, actually we can have different results. Something like this. And I'm not going to go in detail here because this video I think is already quite long and I don't want to explain too much and overwhelm you guys. But if you want to play the game, it's going to be in the description and also if you want more information about this, just let me know. Maybe we can have a second video on this. So what I think is important to know here is that there are some situations in which you can really identify one strategy, which is the best one. But the problem is that the scenario there is not determined by something external, it's determined by the other people. So for example, at the beginning, you could see how always cheating was the best strategy to get as much as you can without giving anything back. But then after a while, the population changed. And then in that case, there was no more incentive to take only, but it was an incentive to start giving. And then if the other person was not giving back, we had an incentive to not give back. So really, if you want to take a message back home, really, I think it's fundamental to think about our environment as not something fixed, but our environment is made out of other people. If you want to know more about this topic, just let me know. I made this video because a lot of you were interested in game theory. Maybe we can go farther. Maybe we can have a video just on the more complex part of this game. Like we didn't discuss about how noise can totally change the environment, but this is for another time. In the meanwhile, if you like the video, remember to put a like, also, if you're interested, subscribe. We have a new video every Monday. And in the meanwhile, just do your homework, read your literature, and see you next time.